often wonder what life must be like on other planets and what the space aliens and people are like and what happens after you hook. Um, I once had a dream that I transitioned into my next lifetime and the world and, and the world had its challenges and there was some bullshit to deal with. So it wasn't perfect, but it was much better than the way it is on this world. And so I have a belief that you definitely go on to a much better world after you croak, but only if you decide not to be an asshole. And then again, I, I hear stories, I also hear stories about people who claim that they have croaked and they experience going through the, the tunnel of bright light and it seemed so beautiful, but, at the, the, but did they really go on to a better place or was something misfiring in their brain um, to create the illusion that they were, that that, 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 that person was um, experiencing while they were dying, that they were going to a better place. Um, speaking of dreams, um, I, I've, um, I've had quite a few interesting ones. Um, I once had a dream that I was in, going through Chicago and, and Chicago was surrounded by these beautiful mountains. What the fuck? A sh Chicago doesn't have any mountains. And there was a time I had a dream that I ate at Old Country Buffet in, in, in the Mall of America. But the Mall of America doesn't have an Old Country Buffet and that really fucking sucks. And most of the Old Country's buffet is closed and there's only one left and that fucking sucks. And I had a dream that my father was going to punish me by making me engage in an S&M sex act while beating me with whips and chains. Now, nothing like that ever happened, thankfully. I never told my father that I had a dream like that. And, and someone told me that if I had a, told my father that I had a dream like that, he would have a heart attack. And I once had a dream that I was horny and I ended up having sex with my cat. And I told my mother about that and she told me that I'm weird. I can't help what I dream, what, what my dreams are about. Um, I hate to disappoint you, but I have no desire to stick my dick in the pussy. The, the point that I'm trying to make here is dreams distort reality and I don't know what they mean. Um, so still, I'm desperately hoping that life on other planets is better than the way it is on this one. And I'm hoping that the schools are better than, and, and kids are taught to, to be valued for their unique uh, learning style instead of the way it is on this shithole planet where everyone has to be forced to fit into the one size fits all mentality along with, uh, without having to get bullied by a bunch of conformist fucking pieces of fucking filth and uniqueness is valued instead of most people being your common brain dead chicken shit conformist asshole. Then how about a planet that has better jobs in which people are rewarded for their unique talents and skills and suddenly the way it is on this planet with a with their brutal cutthroat money grubbing bullshit by being so concerned about how productive they are and which which fucks over those who ain't so productive and that is and, and, and looking for a job has turned into a total ulcer inducing nightmare of fucking bullshit in which people have to compete for jobs that they can't fucking stand for very little money. That is why I'm so glad that I'm collecting disability. <laughs> well said. Furthermore, all these agencies that are supposed to help you find a job is no, are nothing more than a bunch of total fucking bullshit in which they, they place very few people on any jobs. As I have talked and I have talked about previously, I am willing to bet that the way people take a shit on other planets is much better than the way it does on this planet because people on other planets have vision and imagination and they have a much more power in ways of processing their pool and it probably doesn't stink when people take a shit on other planets and they don't have sewers on other planets and people walk around naked on other planets and they take a shit on the floor and you may be thinking, isn't that more disgusting than the way it is on Earth? Well, sewers cause excrement to go into our lakes, lakes and rivers, fucking up the, our environment with diseases and filth. On other planets, people start praying to, as soon as someone takes a shit on the floor, people start praying to the poo-poo, poo-poo gods, and then the poo-poo gods drop out of the sky and they clean up the mess. There are signs that things might be changing for the better, thanks to the massive increasing, massive increase in the number of people who have Asperger's syndrome and people on the autism spectrum. And although people with Asperger's syndrome have been around for at least a couple hundred years, if it wasn't for people on the autism spectrum, we would still be living in caves. It is, it's possible. 
It, it, it's people with Asperger's who have imagination and vision. If it weren't for people on the autism spectrum, there would be no electricity, no computers, and no television. Then again, most of what is seen on television is a bunch of fucking bullshit, so maybe we'd be better off without it. And people are showing some signs of waking up and with, with the, because the ratings um, on all the mainstream media and news channels have plummeted, but people still are fixated on who will win the football game because they are nothing more than a bunch of, uh, uh, nothing more than a bunch of uh, stupid apes. As, 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 dis as disgusted as I am with humanity, I am still interested in what this world would be like and, and and I would like to learn about who really owns and controls this planet. And I'm glad I have did, but I don't know what I found out. And the politicians and the, ba or, and the bankers and the corporate conglomerates who put you, put them in power, along with all the weak-minded, stupid apes who, and that most people are um, are unaware of what's really going on. And many of the people who run and own and control this planet like to hang out at a place called Bohemian Grove. And if you've never heard of Bohemian Grove, it's a place where our world leaders go hang out and they suck each other's cock and they worship Satan while they live with us in the cool Halloween music. Um, anyway. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, I, no wonder. I went to the wrong thing. Okay. Um, Henry Kissinger is a member of Bohemian Grove, um, and uh, and, uh, and when Alex Jones stuck into Bohemian Grove, uh, um, 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 Henry Kissinger was wearing women's panties and he was about to stick his finger up his ass. And you can't make this stuff up. Um, anyway, um, I'm, I guess I'm out of time. So I'm, I'm a better world, uh, but not a perfect world. There probably is, but the higher the consciousness that people have, the less severe things like that are from uh, like all the shit that Illuminati um, is doing, because people are on other planets are more intelligent and they wouldn't put up with this shit. Keep it going for the Reverend Pat D.